Hello and welcome to Business Reporter's Future of Insurance campaign, hosted by The Telegraph Online. I'm Alistair Gruner and today I'm talking to Reid French from Applied Systems about some of the latest challenges in the insurance industry. Good morning. Good morning. Let's make a comparison between 2000 and today when it comes to the insurance industry. What are some of the biggest challenges that brokers now have? Well, I think the biggest change over that time frame has been the expectation of their customer, the insured, the person actually buying the insurance. Um, you know, 16 years ago, people were very used to dealing with their provider uh, in person and on the phone, and pretty much that was the only way that they communicated with the broker. Because of the changes in other industries, the expectation of that consumer has been raised dramatically. They want to be able to communicate with their broker when they want and how they want. And that is very, very different uh, than before. The thing that's probably exactly the same, though, is the, the, uh, the value that a broker can provide to their insured through advice, advice around what products to buy, uh, from which insurers. And I think that's really been a consistency across that time frame. But of course, with all of this new technology, I mean, it's amazing, the connectivity, the speed, all these things. I mean, that surely must be a great opportunity for the industry. I think it is an opportunity for the industry, uh, but it's also a challenge. Uh, the opportunity is to be able to serve their customers better. And, uh, you know, good industries that have great longevity, like insurance brokerages, you've got to continue to raise your game around serving that customer. The challenge is, is that it's new for, for brokerages. Uh, uh, insurance brokerages haven't adopted all of the technology that's required for their customers around client portals, around uh, mobile apps, and that is something that our industry needs to do in the future. So let's look at this technology and the way that the consumers are expecting all this technology to be applied. Perhaps you could give us an example of how that actually works in the insurance environment. Sure. A lot of times the way that, that, that I describe it is, is talk about the change that happened within the banking industry. So if you think about working with a bank, your interaction personally with a bank 20 years ago, it probably involved going to a bank and standing in a, in a queue in order to ultimately either deposit or withdraw money. And then maybe five or seven years ago, you began the process of actually interacting with your bank online through an online portal where you could look at your transactions and move money electronically. And then if you think about today, you may not even use that web portal anymore. You may be using an app that's on your phone to actually look at your information and to move money around and maybe deposit money by taking the picture of a check. That same change is, going, is coming to the insurance industry. And uh, to be honest with you, that technology is all available today. It's around adoption of brokers to be able to provide that new way of servicing their customer um, in t today's environment. Okay, well, let's look at that environment. I mean, how do brokers adopt that new technology to make it work for the insurance industry so it's effectively catching up with other industries? Yeah, I think that if, if I were giving advice uh, to an insurance brokerage, I'd say the first thing you have to do is think about your technology strategy should fit your business plan. What are you trying to do for your customers? And then your technology should support that. So once you've made that decision, um, the, the first step is you've got to ultimately uh, get your people aligned behind that change because it does change how they work within a brokerage. It does change how they interact with the consumer. Uh, so that's the first step, get your people aligned behind it. Second is you've got to have a great technology partner. You have to have a partner to, to go with you on that change. And then lastly, you've got to redesign the process by which you support your customers. If you do those three things right, you'll be in good shape. So Talk about your system. How do you deal with this? We are the largest provider of broker management systems in the world. And that's the system that allows a brokerage to be able to manage all of the information around their customers, around their prospects, around their policies, around their claims. That is the, that is the heart of what we do, and that is the system that we brought to market for over, over 30 years. But we also today offer client portals, web apps to enable the brokerage to be able to provide the information and the digital service that's required in today's environment, that's expected by their customers. Um, we uh, deliver that across a, a program called the Connected Experience, uh, and we use it in order to enable brokerages to become digital brokerages so they can provide great service uh, through both in-person and digital means. 
One of the concerns that people always have is security. And we're talking about a lot of information going back and forth, this increased connectivity, a lot of information sharing, and all the regulatory authorities are going to be watching you like a hawk. Yeah. So how can you be sure that actually everything that you have is safe and secure? So first off, we, um, we've been dealing with insurance data for over 30 years. We understand how important it is. We understand that the security of it is paramount to the success of a brokerage. So when we de uh, develop our cloud centers, we have that in mind. We have four ruggedized data centers across the world. We have over 50 people whose entire job it is is around security architecture, making sure that that data is protected. That's a core focus of our organization to make sure uh, that their data is protected and secure. We're in an environment where technology is changing all the time. And of course, you're talking about a system that's going to keep up with that technology. But let's look into the future a little bit. Where do you see this developing? What are the trends over the next few years? I think ultimately what you're going to find for, for brokerages is that um, they will ultimately become digital brokerages. Those that are prepared for the future will adopt more and more digital technology in order to be able to serve their customers whenever and however. Uh, they would like. I think those that marry great advice, product range, good relationships with insurers, with digital technology to support the transactions, they're going to do great. Those that don't may struggle in the future. Well, it's been fascinating finding out about how technology is actually helping the insurance industry and for that matter, how they can actually take advantage of that. It's been fascinating talking to you. Reed French from Applied Systems. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you, Alistair.